talking about supports. What supports can you offer students with other long-term illness which might prevent them from sitting the examination on the assigned date? Um, if you have a student with epilepsy who experiences a medical emergency such as a seizure immediately before or during the exam and is unable to complete their exam, they, they should be given the opportunity to resit the exam within the same exam cy uh, cycle or before such a time that the CAO offers issue. Such a provision has been um, introduced to re in recent years for students who experience a, bere a bereavement during their exams. Stress and anxiety can be more um, acute during the leave insert for a student with long-term illness such as epilepsy, Crohn's disease or cancer. Um, and they have the, the heightened anxiety worry about being unable to complete it. Is their only option to repeat the exam a year later? What supports can you look at now for these? And, for those now in fifth year anxiously watching this space and waiting to hear how their exams next year will be, what will, the, what will happen for those? What challenges are going to be there for them? Thank you again, Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Deputy. Um, just in terms of the specific question that was raised by the previous Deputy in relation to uh, the accommodation for students who have a significant illness or indeed a bereavement or indeed uh, impacted by COVID, um, I did announce some time ago, Deputy, but maybe it escaped you, that there is a, a contingency second sitting of the exam which will take place immediately after the first sitting of the exam and it is for an exceptional cases where there is a, a medical issue as I say um, uh, pertaining to a student or a bereavement or um, a, an issue pertaining to, to COVID.